Hi everybody, Mike here, back once again, this time with part three of our Jerrica High-End Fashion Retouch series. In the past video, we touched on healing of the skin, and we did some skin smoothing in uh, video two. Now we're going to work on the eyes. Without wasting any time, let's zoom right in on those eyes. Bam, there they are, even closer. Closer still. Okay, so we can see that we do have a considerable amount of detail in the eyes. What we're going to want to do is bring that out. Maybe brighten up the colors just a little bit. Uh, some minor, minor healing. And uh, here we go. So we will start that with another layer. A healing tool. A healing tool can be used exactly the same on any type of texture. So we can use it on the eye just as we used it on the skin to take care of any imperfections, a little bit of redness, uh, too many veins, if we have uh, veins in the eyes that are giving us a bit of a problem, we can take care of them. Jerica doesn't have really any major issues with veins in her eyes. And what we do need to do is brighten them up. Certainly we can see here this eye is much darker than this eye, which is okay, given that obviously our main light source from the image was over here, with a backup light or a hair light up here. Um, so this, this eye is going to be a little bit darker naturally. We're going to brighten it up just to decrease the effect a little bit. And we'll put in a curves layer. And just drag that right up. About there, we'll see how it goes. And hitting control I, that's going to put a mask on that curves layer. Now we can paint with white at an opacity of, say, 15 to 20%. I'm down at 13. And um, paint with white onto that layer mask. And bring out some of those lighter colors. Look at that. Just brightening that eye up ever so slightly. Click after click. If I turn that layer off, you can see what's happening there. It's quite a change already. I'll make sure now that I've got a very soft brush. And I'll perhaps bring my opacity down 6%. I can go beyond this eye and actually brighten up the whites of the eyes of this eye and maybe even maybe even watch this this is a fantastic trick not a lot of people are gonna do this 10 11 percent just one good click see how big my brush is it's huge bigger than the eye one good click there we are let's see what that did for us yeah that took care of that shadow no problem at all evened up the eyes a little bit i think that's a lot better back in. Here we are. So we're not finished. That was just the start. Um, what we're going to do is throw in a another curves layer, this time just a little darker. Control I again on the keyboard to mask that out and you guessed it, we are going to paint with white at a low opacity. 7% there. Very small brush right around the eye. You can see it's already there's a natural darkening. We're just going to bring that out a little bit. Darken it up and what that does is just bring some depth to the eye. Maybe a little right around the pupil. There we are. Same thing on the other iris. Maybe a little smaller with the brush. Just want to do it. Just accent the area that already is dark naturally. Now, see what that's doing. Anything? Yeah, this effect is pretty subtle. I like what's happening over on the eye here, but this one here could use just a little more work. Nice. Okay, fantastic. So, those are our eyes 
brightened up a little bit. I'm going to put down this opacity a little bit, just a smidgen into there. Those whites of those eyes again. Fantastic. Okay, so here it is. We're going to take all these layers, merge them right up to the top. For those who haven't been following along, that is Alt, Control, Shift, and E all at once. Merge everything into one layer up at the top. What I'm going to do now is sharpen up these eyes for a little bit of dramatic impact. Go up to Filter, and then Sharpen, and then Smart Sharpen. Now my settings are already here. Fairly sharp. You can see what's happened to these eyes. They got a little bit more detail in them. If I turn off the preview, you can see it goes away, comes back. And it does, it ruins all the skin and the hair comes. This is way too much sharpening for anything else, but we're going to say OK. You guessed it, we are going to apply a layer mask, a black mask, to that layer. We'll do that with the Add Layer Mask icon, holding the Alt key, click it, and it adds a black layer mask. Our effect disappears. But if we were to paint with white at 100% opacity over these eyes, just over the eyes, look at that. Fantastic. Just brings them right out. Sometimes you bring it down to about 20%. A quick, quick pass over the white of the eye. Or at least some of the highlights can really bring things out as well. Turning on and off that layer, we can see definitely a huge difference already. Excellent. Now, I do know a couple of photographers, and I'll show you this technique. I'm just going to, with that layer selected, hold down the Control key and hit J to duplicate this layer. What I like to do is take it to an opacity of zero right away and then change the blend mode to screen. Now I can grab that opacity layer level and bring it up really, really slowly because I'm going to want a very low, low opacity. But you can also brighten up those irises in this fashion as well. If we had started like this, it would have just bring it, bringing it down. You really, you never end up bringing it down enough. I really like to start from no effect at all. A look at the image and then just accent what we've got. For me, from a distance, 18% is plenty. Okay, so we'll zoom back into these eyes and have a look at them. I think they're starting to look pretty good. Well, I think what we might do is just increase the eyelashes a little bit. We definitely have some long, long eyelashes here. Um, just to make the eyelash effect a little bit more dense, a little fuller, we'll uh, do this. And for, you know, for demonstration purposes, new layer. I'll go to my color picker and I will pick with an 11 by 11 average somewhere in these eyelashes. They're not exactly black, it's more of a brownish color. Take my brush. And based on the resolution of this image, I'll go down to about 3 pixels, painting at 100% opacity, and just draw in some eyelashes. Here they are. Try and draw them in. They don't have to be perfect, but we do want them a little longer than they were. Trying to follow the natural line that we already have. A little too long, nothing wrong with that. We'll be fine. Should be a couple more lashes in here. Sure. No problem. We'll fill them in. There we go. Now, you can see we went a little bit too long with some of these. I grab my eraser brush, make sure I have a nice hard edge, and I'm just going to go around. Whoop, 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 whoop. Trim them up. Individually. A little bit of a trim on each one. Now they're not exactly the same length each. 
but I didn't want to have to worry about the length of them as I was drawing them. It's more the line. Get the line of them and we can shorten them later. So for the other eye, we have different lighting, we have different color over here, so I'm going to repick the color again. About the same size, yes for sure. And just start adding them in. There they are. Fantastic. There we go. The bottom lashes especially um, can sometimes, depending on the image, sometimes really benefit from lengthening or thickening. There we are. And same process. Back to the eraser brush. Chop off the odd ones. Give them somewhere around the same size. It doesn't really look that different. Do we turn off this? Turn those lashes off. Turn them on. Look at that. That's very different. That's really going to bring out those eyes for us. Let's zoom back out. And I'll just put all of these layers into a group. I brighten. I brightening. There we are. That's our eye brightening. And if we were to turn this on and off, let's see what we just came up with. I think that's fantastic. Now it's important, very important to us that in our image the eyes command attention. I think that's changed it quite a bit. There's off and there's the changes we made just now. Okay, join me in our next tutorial next week where we'll go through dodging and burning. Thanks, everybody. And once again, I am Mike from Hebden Photography. Have a great day.